Moist. People really hate that word. I don't know why. Moist. Moist, moist, moist. Are you all freaking out? Moist. Now to take a small break from the usual serious content I make, and because it's the end of the week, I thought I'd have something a bit more light-hearted. I had considered covering this article about a man making a rocket because he wanted to prove the world was flat and he flew up 1800 feet to crash down in some steam-powered nonsense rocket. I hope while he was all the way up there he got a view of the horizon and noticed the curve. But instead I thought we'd talk about Ethan Klein being a massive transphobe, apparently. So Ethan Klein of H3H3 Productions tweeted out, My dick just touched the inside of the toilet bowl. There is no other solution, I'm cutting my dick off. Obviously, I'm sure many, many people from all those likes and comments said, could you just use disinfectant? Or just peel an extra layer of skin off, perhaps? Or is that is that an anti-Semitic joke now? Somebody replied, H3H3 is transphobic, multiple times. I do not personally believe this joke is transphobic at all, I think it's just a joke. It's reductio ad absurdum to the concept of not wanting to touch something, but when you do, exaggerating, I actually feel like I have to explain what reductio ad absurdum is. <sighs> anyway, I do not personally believe he is transphobic for saying this. He is not saying he's changing gender here. He's just making light of OCD. In fact, context is very important. This does not make him grossly offensive for anyone that thinks he is, in fact, grossly offensive. Although if he does happen to go to prison, Maybe he can become pen pals with Dankula after he's sentenced later this month. Now, Ethan Klein retweeted this with, Hmm, is it too late to take the joke back if I already chopped my wiener off? This is the joke police. Put your hands in the air and log out of Twitter. I think you'll look absolutely beautiful in a dress. But again, he's not transphobic. Now, Ethan finished off with, Some have mentioned that I'm transphobic because I said afterwards my name is Ellen, and that I edited the screenshot to be manipulative. He didn't create the screenshot, so it's not really on him on that one. He is not transphobic. But I do like what happened next. I'm going to be as polite as possible on this, because I used to be quite a fan of Thera Meyer, and she has responded to this. Hey, Ethan, where a lot of outrage may come from is that it's still commonplace for trans people to mocked, be mocked, our identity belittled and our bodies made fun of, and it be catered to an audience that find these jokes funny because they think trans people are weird and icky. You are only weird and icky if you don't clean, or look after yourself, or have odd hobbies. Now while you felt the need to explain why someone's taken offence to this, you've explained it from their perspective, failing to explain here how it was not transphobic. Am, am I being too simple here? There was a second part, I'm going to read this as well. Usually with jokes like these, you can tell whether the person making the joke is coming from a place of fun-loving sympathy or genuine ignorance and bigotry. In this case, it wasn't made by a transphobe, but it could easily be enjoyed by people who don't like trans people all that much. It doesn't matter who likes the joke. I know many people would want to stamp out those that do not like trans people, because they're trans of course, and not because of the individual being an absolute dick. However, jokes are enjoyed by everyone, much like people taking offence is almost an everyone kind of thing. I'm glad you agree that he isn't a transphobe though, but explaining why someone took offence, when it just shows that that person really didn't understand where the joke comes from, makes you look even more ridiculous, having to explain somebody else who didn't understand OCD. Now, am I dumbing this down enough? Because I'm really starting to wonder. Really important, and I know the last few days I said I would get to what the whole trans movement's about, it has to do with something bigger. The most protected class are going to be augmented humans, cyborgs, you name it. Okay, so another little thing I want to touch upon. While you responded to a retweet of a picture, which was of a picture of a retweet, uh, it wouldn't have taken five minutes to find the person who sent the original tweet and simply tell them the joke isn't transphobic instead of having to explain why they don't understand the joke, which if anything makes the joke even funnier, because you kind of didn't get it either. Or felt the need to white knight? Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Anyway, another little thing I'd like to consider, or for you to consider, Miss Meyer, is that by him being so open and embracing about the idea of cutting his dick off, he's not being transphobic, he's being the absolute opposite of it. He's almost embracing it, which should surely be cause for laughter, not white knighting. I love me some chicks. Dicks. As a couple of final little points about this entire subject where Ethan Klein is clearly not transphobic, 
I notice my good friend Ranting Monkey get involved in this, and I, to be honest, kind of get his point. He sums it up better and faster than I could have in this video. Hmm. But also, since this happened, since all this unnecessary fallout from people getting triggered beyond belief, Ethan Klein made a video, and I want to play a short clip from it, my favourite part of his video, to sum up all of this nonsense with that one little clip. Just because you were offended by a joke, doesn't mean that the joke was inherently offensive. 